let's make a simple creative title slide. I'm going to say title of the presentation and I'm going to use a much thicker font than this one. Select this and I'm going to use MSS MT Pro Black. Increase the font size and then write name of the presenter. Choose another font, increase the size, make sure that they both are aligned to the right and then add a small rectangle just to cover the title like so. Go to shape fill and use a light gray color, shape outline, no outline, right click, send this to back and then the title needs to be in a simple white font color. Make sure that they both are aligned centrally. Then let us add a picture. Let us go to insert, go to pictures, stock images. I'm assuming that this is a medical presentation and there is some doctor who is very well known who is going to give a lecture so i'm going to just take the picture of the person here and say insert let us crop this to one is to one aspect ratio then go to crop crop to shape and use oval tool and then use crop and adjust the focus like so and this is the main person and we are going to keep the focus on this person so let us keep this to the one side and to add focus to the person, I'm going to add a small little animation that keeps going on over and over. So let us go to home, go to shapes and from basic shapes, pick up this one called as diamond. Draw a large diamond like so. Shape fill, no fill, shape outline, a light gray color. And then let us press control D to create a duplicate. And then let us right click on this, go to size and position and then change the angle to 45 degrees. Select the first one and the second one, align center, align middle and place this right on top of the previous one. If you require, maybe you can increase the size like so, align it once again and keep it to one side. And just to ensure that there is focus on this, let us keep them all rotating. So let us select both the shapes and then go to animations and use a simple spin animation. Make the duration to be around 8 seconds and let us go to animation pane. Both of them happen simultaneously. Let us select the second one, go to effect options and say counterclockwise. So one goes clockwise, other one goes counterclockwise. Select both of them, click on the drop down menu, go to effect options, go to timing and say repeat until end of slide and say OK. And then when I go to slideshow on a click, you can see that there is a small animation that keeps drawing the viewer's attention to the main speaker of the day. And you can leave this on the screen till the audience gather. For more tutorials, come to Presentation Process YouTube channel.